Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to put an update out into the community to let everyone know what I'm working on. Uh, things have been quiet for uh, the past, I think, two weeks, so I didn't want people to think that we fell off the uh, the earth. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what I'm working on is uh, building out the low-level 10 gig Ethernet communication stack and uh, that of course has its challenges but uh, we're making slow progress uh, we uh, as mentioned in the previous video are implementing a, a 10 gig backplane design so that we can communicate to the uh, between the two FPGAs on the same board at HFT speeds uh, to keep things realistic um, architecturally uh, we've been looking at how best to implement protocols and and stuff like that so uh, one of the features of Xilinx processors is they have uh, a thing called partial configuration you can google that to, uh, if you're interested in what that is but essentially what it lets us do is on the fly load uh, different code into an area of the FPGA without disturbing the rest of the FPGA logic and that uh, we're going to leverage to build a pluggable driver architecture so we'll be able to support fix or fast or itch ouch hsvf and stuff like that uh, probably the first one i'm going to put into code is going to be the fast protocol because they have some c code floating around out on the internet uh, which i can use uh, to uh, convert over into uh, uh, VHDL so that's going to be an interesting aspect and uh, probably when we get to that point I'll uh, be doing a, a more in-depth video of of building a driver especially at the communication level uh, the other aspect that uh, stems from that is we're going to do the same for the application architecture and here in the diagram you can see on FPGA 1 we're going to have a, a market simulator that talks down into the fast driver and into our TCP engine and then it's going to travel across uh, communications are going to cross the backplane into the other TCP engine and come up through the fast driver and into our HFT algorithm and that's probably where we're going to do most of our our uh, toying around with and experimentation is uh, building really really low latency HFT algorithms on this this stack and um, hopefully it'll all work out well doing the pluggable architecture because uh, I'm hoping that if this is successful this uh, pluggable architecture will actually take a lot of pain away from the ordinary guy who wants to get into HFT on uh, FPGAs uh, because it limits what what they have to uh, deal with they won't have to deal with say the TCP engine or the drivers they won't have to write drivers on their own we'll be able to build out a, a stockpile of uh, HFT type drivers just like they have you know database drivers for every database under the Sun so and by making it actually pluggable between the application and the driver layer it should uh, mean you could swap out the the driver layer and use your HFT algorithm on any protocol versus having to rewrite your HFT algorithm to adapt to the protocol which I think is what's happening in most of the uh, the trading houses now the uh, the technicians the engineers are probably uh, running around and building very tightly coupled uh, uh, HFT algorithms that l tie themselves to a particular protocol and enhance a particular exchange or brokerage and stuff like that so this architecture, I hope, I'm crossing my fingers, will lead us to, as they say, the promised land of building something that's scalable and very, very flexible. So I hope uh, everyone stays tuned and I uh, look forward to, to uh, making more, more uh, videos explaining my progress and demoing the technology. So I hope everyone has a good evening and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.